don't miss any content, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Hey guys, welcome back to Sahara Football. This is a fine morning here. We're going to do performances of Ghanaian players abroad over the weekend. Some amazing, amazing fixtures took place. And I'm going to run you through them, the performance of Ghanaian players abroad. And there were so, so many games on show. Tottenham versus Manchester United. Amazing performance by David De Gea. That was some goalkeeping, some goalkeeping he did over there. I was so, so amazed by the amount of saves he made. And also, there were so many players on show for Ghana, Christian Achu and Jordan Ayu and Jeffrey Shilov. So I'm just going to get right into it. But as usual, if you're new to the channel, I advise you to subscribe to this channel and click the notification bell to get more updates on the channel. So I'll start with the English Premier League as usual. Burnley versus Fulham. Now Burnley took on Fulham in the Burnley took on Fulham in the Premier League and Burnley beat Fulham. This Odoi was was a hero and villain at the same time. He scored an own goal and he gave an assist for Fulham only goal on that game. And it was a, a, an encounter he would not want to remember, maybe for the assist, but for the own goal he scored that led to his team defeat. He was he might not want to remember this game for a long while. Dennis Odoi there with the own goal. Let's go have a look at Dennis Odoi's own goal. Yeah, so this is Dennis Odoi's own goal there. <laughs> I don't think he would want to remember this anytime soon. And he gave an assist also. Yeah, so he gave an assist. That was a positive for him. Now, moved on to my next fixture, Crystal Palace versus Watford. Now, we all know Jordan Ayew has been in scintillating form this year, starting this year. He scored a goal on the first game of 2019 and followed up with the FA Cup winning goal against Grimsby Town. Jeffrey Schlock assisted him in that game and that has set his season afire. He's now in form for the season and he followed up that game against Crystal Palace and Crystal Palace faced Watford over the weekend. But unfortunately for Jordan Ayew, he could not get on the score sheet. They were beaten 2-1 eventually. They were beaten 2-1 by Watford. Jordan Ayew played 83 minutes and Jeffrey Schlock came on as a substitute for Jordan Ayew in the 83rd minute actually. So Jordan Ayew, unfortunately, could not score him, continue his goal scoring form. So he was left with no goals in that game and his team lost that game. Now Leicester City faced Southampton. Now Leicester City, Daniel Amate, still not back from that his injury, that his really, really serious injury. And Daniel Amate's Leicester City succumbed to a defeat to Southampton 2-1 eventually. They lost that game 2-1. Now Chelsea took on Newcastle and Christian Achu was in action remember christian Achu is a former chelsea player i hope you guys know that christian Achu used to play for chelsea but he could not make an effect he could not stamp his authority on this game the game ended 2-1 chelsea he made triumphant christian Achu was a former chelsea player who was loaned out to newcastle newcastle eventually signed him permanently move on to spain and atlet girona took on alaves girona alaves deportivo alaves we all know mubarak wakasu is in deportivo alaves he was not in action for what um, alaves deportivo alaves and for the girona alaves game it ended in a one-all draw both teams shared the spoils one one now Atletico Madrid took on Levante. Thomas Partey was in call for Atletico Madrid. They won that game 1-0. Atletico Madrid won that game 1-0. And any goal by Koki was enough for them. Thomas Partey played 90 minutes. And Emmanuel Boateng for Levante was an unused substitute, unfortunately. Now, we move on to Italy. In Italy, there was no Serie A games. Then there was Ital Coppa Italia. Now, in the Coppa Italia, Napoli took on Sassuolo. Kevin Bresguatin back, he's already back for, for Sassuolo. But unfortunately for Kevin Bresguatin, he and he and his teammates could not overcome Napoli. They lost that game 2-0. Inter Milan took on Benevento. Benevento are in the second tier of the Italian, Italian league and Inter Milan were triumphant 6 to Unfortunately, Kojo Samoa could not take part in this clash, so Inter Milan they won, the, they won this game 6 2. Bologna took on Juventus, and as we all know, for Bologna, 
we have Godfrey Dorsa of Ghana. Godfrey Dorsa was a substitute for Bologna. They lost to Juventus 2-0, who we were with without Cristiano Ronaldo for this fixture. Um, Godfrey Dorsa was a substitute in this game. Unfortunately, he couldn't do anything to help his team win this game. So that was it for the Italian Serie and performance of Ghanaian players abroad. The other leagues have still not resumed. I'll bring you updates as and when they resume. But I'll leave you with some two stories here from Asante Kotoko. We all know that's what is trending right now. Kumasi Asante Kotoko, Calf Confederations Cup striker. That's Fatal Safiu. Pays tribute to his late mother. Now, we all know Fatal scored a, as he scored the third goal. Yeah, that was that turned out to be the winning goal for Asante Kotoko. It's a fatal Sarika Fat, uh, Fatal Safiu has paid tribute to his mother after helping Asante Kotoko defeat Cotton Sport de Garua in the first leg. The Porcupine Warriors defeated the Cameroonian champions 3-2 in Yaoundé to take an early stage and the advantage ahead of their second leg clash in Kumasi on Sunday. Fatahu strike sealed the victory for the Reds, took to Twitter to pay tribute for his dead mother. She said, she prays for you before she prays for herself. RIP mom, I miss you. I think this is really, really touching. May her soul rest in perfect peace. Heart of Folk over the weekend played a friendly with Gona Falkoba in a friendly. We all know the normalization committee and the 16 league clubs are still deliberating on finding a suitable tournament for the clubs so that they can play football. Football can return to the country. And before they can do that, they have to, their clubs have to engage themselves. So over the weekend, first half goals by Joseph Esso and Anthony Quaison handed hard to folk a 2 0 victory for Agona from Kobia in a friendly encounter played at the Swedish Stadium. Hearts made an impressive start, they took the lead in the 12th minute. Joseph Esso hit a strike from 40 yards. Which beat Fankoba goalkeeper. The forwards doubled their lead Ketsi Anthony Quayson. The forward had then had been denied several times before scoring the 40th minute. In the 40th minute, Fankobia, Fankoba had a great opportunity to reduce the deficit in the second half by a penalty spot, but they were denied by goalkeeper Richmond I, who produced a great save. Thereafter, the two sides created decent chances of their own but failed to utter the scoreline as the match ended in a 2-0 victory in favor of the full year. So how to hope they're getting in shape before maybe the tournament starts, the normalization committee tournament starts. And we hope they come to a, a, an agreement now because the 16 league clubs have decided not to take part in the tournament. Now the 16 clubs decided not to take part in the tournament because of reasons about the, the format of the competition and the amount that was being offered them for the competition. Now, the Normalization Committee Chairman Dr. Kofi Amor has come out to, to tell the 16 league clubs to be fair, a little fair with them because they feel that yes, they have money from governments to look after the local football, but they can't use all that money for them. There's women's football to look. There's so many people, stakeholders involved in the football here in this country currently, and. They can't use all that money to look after just these clubs here, the 16 league clubs and the 48 division one clubs. That's why they are organizing the tournament in that way. So today, the organized tournament will be launched. But let's have a listen to the um, chairman of the normalization committee, Dr. Kofi Amwa, who was speaking after the clubs last week presented a letter boycotting the special competition that they were organizing. We were able to make a convincing argument to government that says where Ghana football is today and it's a reformation process that we undertake it. We need some financial input from government to try to get this going and hopefully when we build the strength and sanitize the sector, then corporate Ghana will begin to see that it is a veritable uh, platform upon which to introduce our company to the public and to brand ourselves. And therefore we're able to secure some, some money. Obviously all the money we secured are not supposed to be divided and, and given to the clubs. We have women's football to think about, even two football to think about. There are a lot of panoply of issues that are involved in Ghana football. So whatever money that we got, if the clubs are thinking that everything should be given to them, I'm sorry to say to you, my brothers, that will be a mistake. 
So that was Dr. Kofi Amwa then speaking on the boycott by the, by the other league clubs on the special competition that they were organizing. It's quite sad that they want the, all the money to be spent more or less, but they can't do that and we hope they can get to a consensus today. I'll let you guys know as I get as to when I get any updates. So that has been it for today. We hope the special competition is launched successfully. We wish Asante Kotoko the very best and we hope that they do well in the second leg in Kumasi on Sunday. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day.